Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to another video going over Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. The brand new Switch game is coming to us this November and I'm super excited about that. 100% confirmed right now. And of course we did get a trailer yesterday that did drop, which basically gave us a lot of insight into the game, told us a lot of stuff about it. But there's still a lot of stuff that you guys may not know about. There was an actual 90 minute conference yesterday where this did get revealed. So a lot more things were said in that conference that you guys might not know about. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing just a huge recap of everything that was spoken about in that conference as well as recapping the trailer as well Obviously, I did make the, re the trailer breakdown earlier So I'm not going to go into that in too much detail But just things that you kind of need to know for the whole overhaul if you're just brand new to the channel and you see in this video uh, But if you guys are excited for this video though, please do remember to leave a like down below Really does help out the video the channel all that good stuff and without further ado Let's get into the video and I really hope that you guys enjoy so starting things off We obviously have the trailer uh, now like I said I did make the recap the other day I'm not going to go over it too much all the main things are that you need to know is pretty much there's a lot of um, linking with Pokemon Go and Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Most importantly is there is a brand new Pokemon that we will be receiving uh, when you do link the Pokemon Go with uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. However though the only down point about this was I mean it's a, it's a special Pokemon. It's a brand new Pokemon. They've confirmed there is a brand new Pokemon coming to Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee when you do transfer with Go. Uh, but the only negative thing about this is a lot of people were thinking that it's going to be a brand new evolution because, hey, why not? It's a game about Eevee. It makes sense. However, though, uh, since then, Pokemon have actually stated that um, Pikachu and Eevee cannot evolve in these games. They, they've said that, which kind of makes sense because it's kind of like uh, it's taken a lot of inspiration from Yellow. And in Pokemon Yellow, you couldn't evolve Pikachu. Uh, but it's just upsetting because it means most likely that we're not getting a brand new evolution in these games, even though there's a game surrounded by Eevee. It's kind of kind of weird now that's not necessarily like 100% there's no even new, new evolution because if you trade the from the switch to Pokemon Go there's nothing stopping this Pokemon Go uh, having the new evolution like that'd be kind of crazy a brand new Pokemon being like shown in Pokemon Go that'd make Pokemon Go sales go like straight up rocket high um, so there's no there's nothing to say that that won't happen this new special Pokemon is on the Pokemon Go screen So it could be a brand new evolution. There's nothing stopping that from happening It's just in the actual games. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee You cannot evolve the starter Pokemon So I'm not sure how you get Jolteon and Flare and Vaporeon in these games or Raichu Maybe you get the Pokemon in the other game So if I start with let's go Eevee I can get a Pikachu and evolve that into Raichu That's the only way I can see it happening uh, But that's like four Pokedex entries that you're not gonna get because of Jolteon, Flare and Vaporeon and stuff um, So yeah, so that's why the special Pokemon make that was a big thing from the trailer that we are very very excited about uh, of course there's loads of linking you get loads of other gifts and stuff when you do link pokemon uh, go with let's go eevee and pikachu um obviously another thing is kind of building on from the whole thing that you can't evolve it there's loads of character customization for your starts pokemon like hats and clothes and everything like that for pikachu and eevee which again like why would you evolve it because you can't really give those hats and stuff to like jolteon or flareon or vaporeon or raichu or stuff like that it just doesn't really make sense so again that's another reason that they're doing that in my opinion but it's just cool at the end of the day that, you know, there's still a glimpse of hope that there will be a new evolution in Pokemon Go. Uh, so, more stuff about the trailer is the fact that the catching is the same in Pokemon Go. Uh, obviously, if you see a Pokemon, you, 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 you like, throw your thing. Well, you don't, don't throw your Switch, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. You kind of, like, uh, you know, I, the, what is it? I don't know, rotate your arm kind of thing. And it, you know, throws the Pokeball, everything like that. Um, and then you can transfer between Pokemon Go and Pokemon Switch. I'm not sure if you're allowed to trade from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Switch. Because what happens if you've got, like, a Mewtwo on Pokemon Go and then you trade it across to your Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee edition and you haven't even beat the first gym yet. You know, you got a Mewtwo really high level before the first gym. It just doesn't make sense. So maybe you have to beat like certain gyms to be able to trade with stronger Pokemon or something like that. I'm not too sure about that. Um, so we obviously got all the screenshots about like Pokemon following you and then riding certain Pokemon such as Onix and Lapras and Charizard. We have like I say Pokemon following you which is so cool. Something we wanted for a very long time. Makes sense. Um, which is why I guess it's so fluent because we've only got 151 Pokemon in this game. We've only got the Kanto Pokemon in this game. Well, we've got a Lolan Pokemon as well. I'm not sure why they're in the game as well. But yeah, we've only got 151 uh, of the Kanto Pokemon and then a few Alolan Pokemon as well. So I guess that's why uh, there's so little Pokemon in this game because the animation for all the movement is so fluent. If you have seen the trailer, it's very, very nice. It's really, really cool. Really, really happy about that. Um, so obviously we got the, the Pokeball thing as well for the uh, the Joy State that you can use, which is really cool. I really like that device because obviously you can hear your Pokemon in the Pokeball like when you uh, click it. And that's because uh, Pokemon have actually said that they wanted to make it feel as real as possible having a Pokemon 
uh, with you. So obviously you can pull this Pokeball out and you can click the middle thing and it'll be like a Pikachu cry and it'll be like, hey, you've actually got a Pikachu in your pocket, which is kind of cool. Uh, something that I'm really, really worried about with this game though is um, the fact that you don't battle wild Pokemon. That was shown in the trailer, but they've come out and confirmed that as well. You can't battle wild Pokemon. It's literally you find the Pokemon and then you just throw the Pokeball at it, which is just like Pokemon Go. Now, I, I am kind of scared about this because I want there to be shiny hunting in these games and if you find a shiny, I feel like if it is that much like Pokemon Go, Pokemon will be able to flee. Um, so if shiny Pokemon are in this game, I'm going to be super upset if they can just flee. I want to be able to like full swipe them and paralyze them and stuff like that to get these shinies. But if they can flee, I'm going to be super annoyed because I can't see why shiny Pokemon wouldn't be in this game. They're already in Pokemon Go. And obviously if you can transfer a Pokemon, like what happens if you transfer a shiny or a Dactyl? Like, is it not shiny anymore? It just doesn't really make sense. So I feel like there will be shiny Pokemon for every Pokemon in this game. It's just like how they're going to implement that into like the battle system like will there be chaining because we do know pokemon appear in the overworld so what are they going to do about that like you know they, they appear in the overworld maybe that's new chaining chaining mechanic stuff like that and then obviously from the the trailer as well we've got the co-op uh, local co-op player as well uh that's not online it's just local unfortunately uh which does suck but uh, it's cool if you've got like a sibling or something like that which is really really nice um but that is pretty much everything from the trailer that we have spoke about like the catching everything like that um the battling um, yeah, the graphics look amazing, of course. But so that's pretty much from the trailer that you guys needed to know. However, there's been a lot of tweets and stuff about um, like more things I do want to go over. The first thing that I want to go over is Pokemon did tweet out saying, with Pokemon Quest and Pokemon Let's Go, there are so many new ways to explore the world of Pokemon. Trainers can look forward to even more with an all new core series Pokemon RPG title in development for the second half of 2019. So that'll be from June to December next year. So in 2018, we're getting Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Next year, we're getting Generation 8. Pretty much been confirmed right now and it wouldn't surprise me if in 2020 we got diamond and pearl remakes which would be absolutely wild that'd be three years of completely different games so it would be kanto in 28 uh, 2018 2019 gen 8 new region new pokemon everything like that would be super wild and then 2020 going back to uh sino as a diamond and pearl remake I, I just i'm actually so excited if that's actually going to happen but right now we just know that we're at least getting two games so we're obviously getting let's go eevee and pikachu and then next year we're at least getting generation 8 and um, obviously there's probably going to be a pokemon game later on after that which will most likely be diamond and pearl remakes but anyway Anyway, that's just super exciting. So that's something that Pokemon themselves did tweet out. Um, so that's that. And next up, about that core RPG, is it, Eurogamer did tweet out when they were doing the live conference thing with uh, Nintendo and everything like that. So the 2019 core RPG is untitled at the moment, but it is set to be in the style of X and Y and Sun and Moon. Now, I don't know what it means by that because X and Y obviously had gyms and battles, uh, gym battles and everything like that. Then Sun and Moon had trials. So I don't get what they mean by style. Maybe they mean like the the layout of like the regions and stuff i really have no idea what they mean about style i can't see the story being the same style because they're two completely different stories like gyms and trials and stuff so it'll be very very interesting to see what they say in that it doesn't say ultra sun and moon in there which is kind of hmm it just says sun and moon so maybe there's no like you know universes and stuff like that wormholes and like that uh then it goes on to say this should appear as competitive players uh with let's go aimed at a broader audience a core opportunity for everyone so obviously the new games in 2019 are more set for your like competitive players and like that and then the let's go games are kind of being sent out for everyone to try and get everyone into the franchise which makes sense it's a cool uh smart play on nintendo's part but that is kind of why they're bringing out let's go eevee and pikachu first to try and get more people involved and then they're bringing out this big generation 8 game to hopefully just do it completely destroy the market i guess i mean that's pretty much what they're going to be doing um so we have that um, so talking about um, the battling, unfortunately, is uh, when asked if trading and battling is possible between Pokemon Let's Go on Nintendo Switch, Masuda said, Junichi Masuda, uh, yes, of course, we have trading in the game. It's one of the reasons we always have two versions. Version exclusive Pokemon will exist in Let's Go, like the many Pokemon games before it. Battling and trading are both available online and locally. So you can battle and trade online with friends locally and online, which is great. But online ranked battles will not be available. So you can't battle online. So what's that mean for the, like the battle spot, VGC, stuff like that? I don't know about that. Um, it then goes on to say, and as for the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch online service launching in August, Masuda said they don't have any plans to utilize the online service right now. So it's not going to be very, very online based at all. Um, which does kind of suck a bit. I was really looking forward to like having a big online hub and everything like that, going up to different people and challenging them and stuff like that. Um, but this Pokemon is a spin-off game, guys. It's not a main series game. I'm pretty sure they've confirmed that it's a spin-off. Um, so 
the main series game will be next year, 2019, which will be Generation 8, which is super, super exciting. Uh, but yeah, there's not going to be any ranked battles in these games, unfortunately, but that's all going to be in the 2019 game. So just look out for that pretty much. And then last but not least, it says that um, info from the post-conference Q&A with Game Freak, uh, you can have separate save files in Pokemon Let's Go by using separate accounts on the Switch. So you and your sibling or a friend don't need separate copies of the game to both play. So it's finally happened after over 20 years we have multiple save files for a Pokemon game. You just have to have like different accounts, pretty much. You can use separate accounts. So every account will have a different save file. So it's not like you go into the game and then you have like save one, save two, save three. It's not like that. Um, you only have the save one, but if you go into another account, you can have another save one. So if you make like two or three accounts, that's your different save files, which is great. It's awesome. We finally have save files. I mean, how long have we wanted to have this for, you know? <laughs> it's just, yeah. Anyway, it next, it goes on to next to say that Let's Go is an all new game within the series like X and Y was. So it's not a remake of Red, Blue and Yellow, despite being set in Kanto. It is inspired by Yellow, not a remake. So that basically goes on to say the fact that, you know, it's not exactly the same as Yellow, it was just inspired, which is why Pikachu can't evolve, uh, why we're in Kanto, why there's only 151 Pokemon there. Again, I have no idea why Alolan Pokemon are in the game. Maybe it's just because Alolan Pokemon are in Pokemon Go now. I, that's the only thing that I can really th uh, think of. Um, but yes, that is um, pretty much that. And I think that's pretty much everything that I did want to talk to you guys about in today's video. I've pretty much gone over everything that I know at the moment. Unless new things do come out, I generally have no idea. Um, but I will let you guys know as soon as it does drop. Because it's pretty much just news now. Like, we know what the game is going to be. We're just waiting for more and more news. Um, but yeah, I mean, something else that was uh, stated was when asking about EV training Pokemon, IGN reveals that the team wanted to simplify things with how you level up, raise, and train your Pokemon, uh, which again, uh, they're going to tell us more about that on a later date, which is why there's no battling wild Pokemon and stuff like that. So that will be interesting to see what happens there. But guys, I'm out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you did get um, some really cool information from this video. Uh, that's all I know so far. If we do get more information, I will make more videos on it. But right now, that's all we have. Uh, so if you did enjoy, please do drop a like down below. Remember my second channel, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, channel, Discord, and Patreon account will be found in the description down below. That is it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, guys, peace.